Hi, I'm Chuck with IWS Sales. It's sure been a long time since we've made our last video. We've had a heck of a long winter here in Idaho, um, even a longer spring it seems like, but the sun is out. Um, it's a beautiful day to tell you everything you wanna know about this 2023 Newmar Supreme Air. This is the flagship of the Super C's uh, in the Newmar brand, and I just, I'm really thrilled to do a nice walkthrough with you. The first thing I wanna do though, before we get going, is talk to you about the price on this coach. It seems like every time we do a video, somebody in the comments says they don't talk about the price, and we're not afraid to talk about the price. MSRP on this coach is 775-222, but if you mention my name, you can have it for an even 775. Seriously though, um, that is the MSRP price, 775-222. This coach has over $55,000 worth of upgrades done to it, but with IWS, we always got a little bit of wiggle room in it, so don't hesitate to reach out for us and get our best price. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and start talking about this coach. <clears throat> As you can see, it's a 40-foot model, tandem axle, and I thought we might just start up here at the engine first, and I'm gonna walk you through that and, and talk about it. I don't know if you guys can get a good shot of the grill and the bright work that uh, Newmar does on this coach. It's really, uh, makes it a very bespoke looking vehicle. Um, here you can see a, a front looking camera on this coach. It also has a, a mitigation, crash mitigation system that we'll talk about later on. But I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the hood forward. So this is built on a Freightliner M2 chassis, and it has a Detroit DD13 engine in it. So this engine is 12.8 liters. And just to kind of put this thing in perspective for people that maybe are new to this line, and that's really who I'm speaking to is the people that want to learn all they can about these coaches. This engine is what you would see in most of the semis running up and down the road every day. It has, uh, you would see this in a dump truck, you could see it in a cement mixer. Uh, the tractor trailers running up and down the road can have payloads up to 80,000 pounds without getting special permitting. This is an absolute workhorse. So this particular engine, Freightliner boasts that it has a B50 life rating of over a million miles. And what that means is they're certifying that over half of these engines produced went over 1 million miles without needing an overhaul. So it's just an incredible, uh, neat little fact that I wanted to share with you is the just the oil change interval on this engine under severe duty, which would be like dump truck use, uh, logging use, they recommend you change the oil every 35,000 miles. On normal over the road use, they recommend 55,000 miles for an oil change and under a lighter over the road use, which this would fall into, they're saying 65,000 miles. So if you own this coach, you're gonna be like Hank with King of the Hill and you're gonna service it every 55,000 miles or when you get bored. Um, I, I'm really just trying to emphasize that this is a, this is a million mile um, class eight truck engine. And the best thing you can do is get out and drive this thing. It is absolutely designed to go down the road. Another neat thing about it is it has true engine braking. It's not an exhaust brake, it's an actual uh, uh, Jacob style compression engine brake that's gonna give you uh, braking horsepower and, and to slow the coach down on it. There's a few other things that I wanna talk about this coach um, when it comes to just the, just what you're getting with one of them. So this comes with the Detroit Virtual Technician. And what's so neat about that is it, however it does it, magic satellites, but it's constantly communicating with the, with the satellite to give engine status. And I like to tell the story, um, I run the larger engine, I have a DD16 in my coach, but I'm actually getting a new one with this exact same engine in it. But, uh, a couple summers ago, we were driving down the road and a check engine light came on. Actually, just prior to the check engine light, I received a text. Then the check engine light came on and I had my wife look at the text and it was Detroit Virtual Technician saying, hey, you're going to have, or you have an engine code light that just came on. It's an emission code. Don't worry about it. Just get it done at the next service. 
which was so awesome for us because we're headed out on day one of our trip. We get a check engine light and then we get a reassuring text from Freightliner saying, hey, don't worry about it. You don't have to deal with that right now. So we're able to just to continue our trip and then just got the maintenance issue fixed um, the next time we had the coach uh, at a Freightliner dealer. So it was just pretty incredible. Uh, contrary to that too, it'll also tell you, hey, this is a serious deal. You need to pull over at the nearest exit and get this thing taken care of. So it's just an added level uh, peace of mind to this coach. Um, some more things about this, uh, this engine is just the serviceability of it. Here, here's why I, one of the reasons that I personally will only own a Class C coach, and that is, so if you know our background, we made our um, future in the towing business, or that's, that's our legacy, is we started out with the towing business, and then we, now we still build tow trucks. We're probably recognized as the, the, the premier tow truck builder in all of the United States, possibly the world. We've shipped trucks all over the world. Um, so we know a little bit about these and what it takes to tow them. And towing a Class A motorhome can be very challenging. I would challenge you, if when you get done with this video, call three local towing companies in your area and say you have a 45 foot Class A and see if they would even tow it. it. It's getting harder and harder to get them things worked on or done, as well as service work. The engine on a Class A is um, in the back most shops have a higher motorhome rate and most shops only spec, uh, they really, uh, it's really hard to get into those shops. Class C trucks. This is treated just like any farm truck, any over the road truck on the road. The axle is right up here. It's very easy for the tow company to reach underneath with an underlift, pick this thing up from the front and tow it. So the same three towing companies you asked to tow your Class A, now say, hey, I have a Class C uh, with a Freightliner M2 chassis over it, and you'll probably get every one of them to say, no problem, we can tow that. It's just, it's just like towing a dump truck or a, a, a school bus or anything like that. So then the next thing about it is just getting it worked on. Almost every community in the United States has somebody that can work on a Freightliner engine. And this is no different than any truck. You can stay in here and live while the mechanic's out here doing the service work. If you have a Class A, it's very disruptive. They usually have to take a part of the uh, floor out in the rear bathroom if they're gonna be accessing anything in the transmission or anything like that in the final drive. So just a lot to this and a lot of positives and they way outweigh it. Many of the people that have a Class C really feel safer having that hood out in front of them. For my wife, the drivability of it is an easy transition uh, to go from her pickup into this because the seating position, the mirrors, everything's the same. And we'll talk more about that as we go inside. And again, you know, I'm gonna go on and on because this video is designed for people that are really trying to learn all they can about these Class Cs. Another thing we're gonna talk about, well, actually, before we get into uh, weight ratings, I'll save that for the back. We're just gonna kind of work our way down the coach. Uh, you have real nice uh, steps, easy to get in. Really nice grab handle here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So climbing in is really nice. Um, you just go right up the steps. You've got a nice grab handle right here. And in the coach you go. Why do I like that? Well, if I'm pulling out, fueling up, it seems inevitably when I'm fueling up my coach, the guy or girl before me has left diesel on the ground and I got diesel on my shoes. I don't, with a class A, you normally have to go around and walk through the whole coach to get up to the driver's compartment. Here, I can just pop my shoes off, step right in and, and I've saved all that. So little things like that add up to me. Some people are gonna wanna know what this appendage is here and this is a rear view camera. So when we get inside the coach, you'll see on the screen that when you turn your, uh, in this case, your driver's side turn signal on, it's gonna take an image of the side of the coach and let you know if anybody's there. As well as on the other side, there's some crash mitigation stuff that goes on with sensors. Another neat thing about this coach is they have flush mounted uh, wall slides. 
Um, this happens to be a full slide. On this coach, on this slide here, it's HWH hydraulic slides, um, something that's been around a long time. Um, we're very comfortable with. This is just access to your fuel filter, and there's the fuel tank in it. This is where you would fill your fuel tank as well as your DEF. And for some of you that are new to the diesel world, DEF stands for diesel exhaust fluid. So you're gonna fill this up um, about every third to fourth tank of diesel, you'll need to put DEF in it. But it's just as simple uh, when you pull into a truck stop, they'll have both handles there, so it's very easy to do. This is also remote air. Um, when you buy a coach from us, we're gonna set you up with an air hose so you could go around and air up your tires or air up your kayak or uh, blow a dog off if you need to. <clears throat> this fold-up compartment is access to the truck batteries, which very rarely would you ever need in there. <clears throat> this next compartment has the lithium ion batteries, which is very uh, exclusive to only Newmar's highest end coaches. So this is something we're really excited to see that they're offering in this coach. Also has cooling fans here, as well as two inverters. So, which is something you're only gonna find on very high-end coaches. And this is a high-end coach. This coach, if you follow the new Mars, this has the same trim package as their mountain air coach would. Now we're into uh, more of the utility side, and this is a powered cord reel, which is kind of neat because um, you have the switch right here to run this thing in or out. So you can pull it out by hand, but when it comes time to wind it, you push the button right here on the door. And it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but on other coaches, you have to get down on your knees and the buttons are down here. So you're always, knees are dirty right before you're getting ready to leave, which makes no sense to me. Another neat thing that uh, Newmar does is they put this slot in it. So when you hook your power cord up, you can close your door. Other coaches, you have to get down on your knees and unscrew a plastic cup and run the cord through. Um, this is just very well thought out. I mean, Newmar has been building coaches for, I think it's over 50 years now, or maybe this is their 50th year, but they've been doing it a long time. So they have a good handle on this stuff. This is the exhaust for the engine. Everybody seems to think it's too low and I've never ever uh, seen anybody have an issue with it. Now we're gonna get into the uh, water management area and we're gonna go nice and slow and talk about a lot of this. <clears throat> so the first thing is, here's your powered cord reel for your water hose. This is all plastic in here, so it's very easy to wash it out. You also have an outside shower right here. Take it down. So, you know, if you're coming in off the beach, you can rinse off, rinse kids off, rinse dogs off. You have hot and uh, cold here. This is also the hot and cold water for this. You have a black tank rinse. So this is where you would hook your, let me slow down a little bit. I feel like I'm going too fast. Look, so you have a black tank and a gray tank in the motorhome. And the black tank is everything that comes out of the toilet. The gray tank is what comes out of the shower and the sink. Soapy water typically is what that is. So every once in a while, it's nice to be able to go in and rinse your black tank out after you dump it. So they have a sprinkler inside of the tank. You can hook a water hose up to this, turn this valve on, and the sprinkler will go off inside of there and it'll wash all the gunk out of it. This is the first time I've ever seen a coach offer it as well for the um, gray tank side, which is, I think, just going to be a really great feature. It's just things that Newmar does to just keep elevating the brand and elevating themselves. And they do all of this based off of customer feedback. Okay, this next one is the whole house uh, water filter system, which is very easy to change out. You just undo this and change it. Your dump valves. Normally you have a big long lever that you have to get down there on your knees and pull it and push it. Newmar on this coach right here has equipped it with electric gate valves, which is something that I just think is fantastic. 
This is your uh, macerating system by Thetford. And what this does is it grinds up everything, kind of emulsifies it and pushes it out. So you don't have to take the big three inch hose and clip it on. You do have that as an option if you do want to use it, but for really quick, um, most people like me, we're just going to stick this in the uh, sewer deal, activate the button and it pumps and pushes all of this stuff out. So this is a really nice, uh, really nice system. You can see the screen down here. It's really hard to see in the sun, but this monitor tells you whether your gray and black tank, uh, as well as your fresh water, how much is there. This coach here happens to have 150 gallons of fresh water on board. Uh, side docking light, marker light. There's another little uh, small storage compartment in here. They're just trying to make everything as handy as they can. Here's a 12.5 kW Onan generator. Um, and when it comes to these Onans, they're actually a Kubota tractor engine in them. So if you kind of follow the racing world, I was just recently looking at a coach that, uh, a used one, and they were bragging that it only had 8,000 hours on the generator. These things are made to run. Like when you buy this coach, you don't have to worry about wearing stuff out. If you read the operations manual on this, Onan will tell you they'd rather you run it for two hours than 20 minutes. They want you to run these things. I mean, they're, uh, they're, they're just an absolute workhorse. And what it does is it gives you the freedom to have all the power you would ever want. Um, just, just incredible. So we're gonna come to this back compartment. And this one just has some storage in it, but most importantly, it has a 30 amp RV plug. And this RV plug is powered by the generator. So you can plug into this and send power on to another trailer, uh, camper, whatever you want. I personally like it because when I'm racing, I have a stacker trailer and I like to be able to run power from my coach to my trailer. So uh, to run my air compressors and all that, and then I don't have to carry a second generator. So what we're going to do, I'm going to, we're going to work our way back to the front and due to the sun, we're going to uh, turn this thing around and I'll talk about the back and the other side. But some of the things that I want to point out on this side is if you look up here, first off, I want you to notice this has powered window awnings. And initially I didn't think they were that important, but when you have a really sunny day out it's, it, and you can power them out, it just really changes everything. So it's a really nice feature. You'll also notice we have two area lights. Anybody that's followed IWS know how important them are to me to be able to have lights that shine outside of the coach, not only for serviceability, but if you're laying in bed and you hear a bump in the night to be able to turn the lights on and, and light up the area. As well as this coach has the new 360 camera. So like I drive an F-250, uh, I tell everybody I'm a menace on the highway uh, without that thing, but it's gonna, you can see all the way around the coach and I'll show you more about that when we get inside. But probably the most evident thing that's hard to tell until you get here is the paint. The paint on these coaches, it, it's just, it's awesome. Um, you, if, when you rub your hand on it, you can't feel the difference between the colors because they put the clear coat over the top of the stripes. Numar does all of their own painting in-house. They have their own paint shop so they can really control the quality. And what also adds to that is that you need to stay with this graphic design, but Numar will let us work with you and choose your own custom colors inside of here. So if you're pulling one of our 1,000 horsepower Hennessy's behind the back of this thing, we can match your coach to that color. And it really offers you a lot of individualization. Uh, I like to say it's, it's, we're offering you that luxury lifestyle, okay? Another thing to point out is on this side, up on the top, you'll see the awning, but that's just an awning cover on the driver's side. But you do have a full length awning over the top of the slide. So that helps keep leaves and everything out of the uh, slide when the slide is slid out. 
So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this bad boy up, turn it around, and we're gonna talk about the other side of the coach. All right, here we are on the other side. We're gonna go down the passenger side or um, the curb side as the RV industry refers to it. Here's your turn signal camera. This coach has two slide outs on this side and both of the slide outs have toppers over them which are like mini awnings to keep debris out of them. This coach also on this side has the window awnings that'll power down over the window right here. And we also have dual roof awnings that'll come out. So um, this coach is just uh, very well covered, excuse the pun. We're gonna go through each of the compartments and work our way back. Here we have a storage compartment. Now we're gonna open up this compartment and talk a little bit about the Oasis uh, hydronic heating system. And the way this system works is, imagine this is a boiler and it's diesel fired as well as electrical fired. Um, and you have the choice whether you want it on electrical or diesel. What's nice about this is you can use the diesel or the electric to heat the burner and, the, and there's a pump that pumps the, the, the glycol through heat registers within the coach. And as them heat up inside the coach, uh, fans come on and they blow heat across the register. So they're a lot quieter. It's a lot more uniform heat in here than having a propane furnace. What I really like about it is when you're driving down the road, it takes the engine heat and cycles that through there and runs that through the coach so you're not burning diesel or um, using that. We also use this to heat up the hot water for your shower, your sink, and everything. So you really have infinite hot water. It's just, a, just an exceptional way to heat these coaches. And that's what you're gonna find on all of the um, really high level coaches are all gonna be running some sort of hydronic heating. This is just another large storage compartment. We're gonna come back to the door and the step here. Open up this other compartment so you have a real good um, visual on the television. And this all pulls out so you can sit out here and watch TV and it's nice having this over it as a sun guard. We're gonna go back here towards the back. This is really nice because you have this nice pass through box. And you are really not pass through, but you have a slide out tray right here. Um, this is your uh, inner vac, your road vac. So this has a built-in uh, vacuum system inside of the coach. Also notice there's extra 110 outlets. So if you wanna charge up a drill or, or uh, power up a air pump or something back here, you have that as an option. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the rear cargo compartment. So this is a pretty neat deal. Um, you have a storage compartment underneath here, which is great for storing uh, lawn chairs, picnic tables. You probably can't fit many kids in there, so I wouldn't recommend that. That other box works better for small children. But this is, a, I'm kind of a, uh, if you meet me on the road, I like to be the most prepared guy there. Um, I was joking with my wife, I said, you know, you don't know how much work I, I spend uh, getting our coach ready to go to like Alaska. And she says, yes, sir. It's gonna be the most prepared coach there too in all of Alaska. And it, it makes me very proud. What I like about being prepared is I've got spots here to stack my oil bottles, my um, Windex. I'm a, I like to keep the windows clean. Um, you just have a lot of room to really store stuff and it's very easy to get to and it's very visual so when it's time to leave on a trip you can see everything there and i don't think anybody in the class c industry is offering this type of uh, of a hatch in a in storage compartment i just think it's very well done okay now we're going to talk about <clears throat> towing and performance out here in the back so this coach is equipped with a 30,000 pound rated towing capacity. That means in theory, you could put a trailer behind this that weighs up to 30,000 pounds. 
A lot of people ask, what does this mean? Well, these are air hookups, so if you want to run a big concession trailer or something that has air brakes on the trailer, we can install glad hands on it and you could uh, have air brakes for your trailer. If you're going to run electrical brakes, we're just going to plug you in down here and you would have your normal electric brakes, which is what I run. I also run the Voyager camera system. So I have a camera on the back of my stacker trailer and we can plug it in right here and you'll have a camera on the back of your stacker. So very competent uh, towing. I don't know of anybody running one of these that's gonna get anywhere near 30,000 pound towing capacity, but it's nice to know it's there. And I'm gonna actually, I think I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get up here on the tandems because this is something that I think probably confuses consumers. Should I buy it with tandem axle or should I buy it with a single rear axle? And that's a really good question. So let's talk about ways to help you make that decision. So the first thing I like to ask is what are you going to tow with it? So if you're gonna tow a big stacker trailer that's gonna be loaded all the time, then really tandem axles is, is the right choice. There's a lot of people running a stacker, pulling it on a single axle, but you have to be very cautious about how you're loading the trailer and that you don't exceed the rear axle weight rating. When you have a tandem, all of that goes away. Let me explain why. With a set of tandems, this thing has a 40,000 pound um, gross rear axle rating. So that means Freightliner says if you were to put this motorhome on the scale and weighed it, you could weigh up to 40,000 pounds on the rear axle. And that would be very typical for a semi as well uh, for highway uh, ratings. The front axle on this is 18,000 pounds. So if you add all of them up, Freightliner says if you put this on a scale, this particular coach, it could weigh up to 58,000 pounds. That means the brakes, the chassis, the engine, the transmission, the radiator, everything is designed to move and stop up to 58,000 pounds. Now, what does it actually weigh? And that's called the curb weight. This coach weighs right at 40,000 pounds. So that means you have 18,000 pounds of capacity that you could put in here before you exceeded its load carrying capacity. So to put that in perspective, um, half ton Ford pickup probably weighs right around 5,500 to 6,000 pounds. So you could put three F-150s <laughs> inside of this and still be well within your braking capacity. So when you add a second axle, you increase stability, you increase braking capacity, um, you increase carrying capacity. However, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite quotes was from Newton and that is for every action there's an equal and opposing reaction. When you add a second axle, you give up some um, storage space. You add some extra uh, cost in fuel because it does take a little bit more to turn these axles. but. It's all about what it is that you want to do. And if you want carrying capacity, additional stability, and additional braking, tandems are the way to go. We don't offer it in anything smaller, shorter than a 40 foot. Um, so that's just a choice that you would have to make for yourself and we can help you get there. Now, if I wasn't towing a stacker trailer, I might consider a 36 or 37 foot single axle. It's all about the floor plan. And I'm really trying not to confuse you. I'm just trying to make sure that when you do business with us, that you're a very informed customer, right? We don't want you to spend 700,000 plus dollars and come back to us six months later and say, oh, I made a huge mistake. We want to make sure you know what you're getting into because really, like I tell people, I can talk you into tandems or I can talk you out of them. There's a good argument for both. But if you're going to carry a lot of weight and towing is very important to you to hard tow big capacities like I'm doing, tandem is really the right choice. Um, 
So a couple more things to talk about while we're here. Oh, one thing I do want to point out on the tandem, this is not a tag. So some coaches have dual wheels here, a single rear wheel here, and this one is just a tag. It's just going along for the ride. On this particular coach, both of these are drive axles. Why is that important? With a tag axle, it's very common for the, to go over a hump and the rear tag axle to hold the front axles just slightly off the ground and you spin out and you get stuck. With this coach, you have an uh, interlocker so you can lock the front diff and the rear differential together to help you to get out. So this is, this is the best you can buy right here in my opinion. Air ride, 40,000 pound tandem drive axles. So one important note is um, the Supreme Air only comes in tandem axle. If you're thinking about a single axer, I wanna encourage you to take a look at the Newmar Superstar. And also, give us a call or come hang out with us for a day and drive these things and we're gonna really help you make that right decision. One thing, <clears throat> that probably the last thing I'm gonna to touch on here is about just personal safety. So I've never had to crawl out of a window, but a lot of motorhomes, if you're in the back of the coach and you have a fire and you can't get out the front, you have to climb out the window and you fall onto the ground. So can you imagine climbing out of a small window and falling onto the ground? Numar has this escape door in the bathroom and we're gonna open this thing up and show you how it works. The door opens up, a ladder comes out, and you have a rear escape route on the coach. And for me, like, it, it was kind of neat to really see an RV manufacturer really pay attention to personal safety and put it to the forefront on this coach. Um, I just can't say enough about Newmar and the people there for thinking of this because um, I, I just don't think it's very feasible for you to fall out of the top window. I, I think. I think I'd rather chance myself running through the flames. Um, but with this, you don't have to go through that. And God forbid, I, I, not one of our customers has ever had to use the door, um, but to know it's there in the event that you ever need it. Enough of me talking about the outside, let's go inside of this beautiful thing. I wanna talk a little bit about, we have a lighted grab handle here. You got a built-in doorbell right there, so when neighbors come up, you can ring the doorbell. Um, it also has a key code, so you can program this to whatever entry you want to lock it, as well as all of the compartments. I don't think I mentioned, these are all lockable on a remote control as well. But one neat feature about this, an additional neat feature, is this step. And I want you to notice, it, it's, it's all hydraulic how it comes out. You can hear the hydraulic pump running in there. And you have such a low step, which is so nice to not have this big giant step to go into the coach. So it's very nice and easy steps. You got a nice grab handle right here. Got another rail right there as you head into the coach. Okay, here we are inside this coach. But what I was trying to illustrate here, close this compartment up, is how much space you have. And with all of these slides, it is a little bit tight right here as I try to make a pass through. But one thing that's nice about it is you got the table to hang on to as you get by it. Then as I move towards the back, I have full access to the uh, bathroom with the slides in so I can get in there. I've got access to the microwave. The refrigerator's a little tight, but I can still get in here and get stuff out if I gotta make a sandwich along the road but it's not unreasonable either to just push this slide out six or eight inches if you're at a rest area and you wanna make a sandwich. So I hope that kind of explains what the coach looks like with the slides in. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and run the slides out. But before I do, I thought I would just take a second and walk through all of the control features that are right here. So this is your um, automatic stabilizing leg, so you just push auto level and the jacks come down automatically and level the coach up. This has a solar panel on the roof, so this is where we're controlling all of the uh, solar panel functions on it right now. Right now it's putting in 13.2 volts. 
Um, this is for your WineGuard uh, digital antenna. It also has WineGuard satellite antenna on it. This is your awning controller, driver's side window awning, passenger side window awning, Wi-Fi router, um, entry lock for the door lock, compartment locks. This is the powered step cover. And I'll go ahead and run this out. And you can see that there's a powered step cover right there. This is for the slide outs, which we're gonna run here in just a second, run the slide outs. And this is all the exterior lighting. So we have the rear security light that I talked about, driver's side security light, compartment security lights, uh, patio lighting outside, as well as your other ones, uh, exterior LED lights. This is your battery disconnect. If I wanna shut all the coach batteries off, I can just push that button. So with all of that being said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, run the first light out. out. And you can see it sliding out. As you can see, these slides move pretty quick. All right, here we are, uh, coatless. <laughs> it's a little warm in here, but I'm gonna give you a tour around the inside. And as you can see, we have overhead um, compartment storage right here um, talk a little bit about the theater seating so I'm uh, right at six foot tall so it kind of shows you how I fit it's nice they have lighted uh, cup holders as well as storage compartment in here there's a slide tray as well as um, room there to keep an extra blanket or something like that and you have all the remote controls I'll go ahead and lay this guy out so you can get a perspective kind of a nice little place to take a nap I think I'd want a pillow back here for me I'm gonna move around as you can see there's a bunch of storage compartments up over here and I think we'll leave that till we come back and talk about the engine compartment because there's some pretty cool things in there you've got other storage compartments up here as well as the sound bar and then the televator. I'm gonna go ahead and push the button over here. So the televator is gonna come on up. Okay, and while that's coming up, I wanna sit down here a little bit and talk to you about a few other things. So. Um, under the bed in the back, there's two extra chairs as well as an add a leaf to, to bring this out. What is it that they say? Um, sleeping for two and dinner for four, right? And this coach fits that bill. But another thing that I want to talk about is just our IWS Advantage package. When you buy a coach from us, um, we're going to include this iPad with it. And it comes with quite a few things. Probably one of the to me, one of the most um, things that can add the most value to me is we load this with our private cell phone numbers. So you have 24 hour access. We actually have a cell phone and we rotate it amongst everybody um, so that if you have a problem on the road, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, we're gonna answer the phone for you. We also offer five years. When you buy this coach, IWS, we give you five years of roadside assistance at no additional charge. So to me, and that's kind of how I started this whole thing is buying a coach and not getting very good service and not understanding what I was getting into. Heck, when I bought um, my first coach, I thought uh, that uh, Oasis heating or Aqua Hot hydronic heating was heated floors. I had no idea. Um, I think all of my education come when I watch Robin Williams on RVing. <laughs> so, but we're trying to add value and give you comfort in knowing that we get you, we live this lifestyle, and we're gonna be here when you need us. 
Okay, another neat feature of this thing that really adds a lot of value, at least in my opinion, is the Numar app. So when you have that, we're gonna preload this coach on here. So here you can control all of the lights and this shows all of the zones. So we can turn the lights on and off. We can see the fresh water status, the black and the gray. We can monitor the incoming voltage on this. You can turn the heating and cooling on and off. And you can also run this off of your cell phone, but we wanna make sure when you leave our facility that it's all loaded on this iPad. Um, you can also look out the uh, video cameras when we have them connected as well as lock and unlock all of the doors. So to me it's very intuitive and very easy to use and there's a lot of other features that we'll share with you but we, we like to keep some of those kind of exclusive to our customers only so we're not going to put them out there on the internet. But you can just trust that we're really going to do a good job of taking care of you. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and move through the coach and go through a little bit more. Um, here we are in the kitchen and there's kind of a, quite a few neat things to do. One of the first things I'm gonna do though is remove all of these covers and uh, I'm gonna slide them in here. Numar gives you a storage compartment for them. Also note that on the stove, these can turn over and they also double as a cutting board. But I'm gonna go ahead and just um, get these out of the way so we can talk a little bit more about some of these features up here. <clears throat> okay, now that we have them stored away, I'm gonna open up some of these pantry drawers so that you can see. It's kind of nice to be able to slide these out if you have food stuff in here or items so that you can uh, get to them without having to reach over the sink. I think they've done a great job of thinking about making this very usable. You have a residential style um, sinks as well as a pull out sprayer. You have your true induction and I really like these. I have this on my own personal coach. We were always a gas stove type of people until we got our first induction. What's really cool about this is um, even when you don't have the covers on it, you still have an area you can set stuff, right? It doubles as a counter, but it, you have to use metallic pans and there's a magnet on there and it induces the heat um, through the frying pan and they heat up really fast and we get good. Um, we really like how it cooks. Let me leave it with that. But here's the coolest feature, I think. I don't know if anybody even realizes that Numar offers this, but let's just say you want to cook outside tonight. You can literally reach in here and lift this up, unplug it, and take this outside and plug it in outside and you have a portable uh, heating stove. It's just, I, they just think of everything. And you have a touch screen right here where you can control all of the lights. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, you can set the mood, turn them down, turn them up. You have a lot of other uh, touchscreen functions in here. The same thing I showed you on the iPad. Most all of those functions are available here. Go ahead and slide out the silverware drawer. As you can see, these are full length drawer slides on these. Just trying to give you an idea how much room you have here for everything. Slide them all the way out. As well as storage underneath the sink. And I really like these little pull out trays to make ex accessing things underneath here a little bit easier. And while I'm here, I want to show you this big pantry area. So you've got lots of storage in here in the pantry. Here's the mid bath right here. Okay, and then we have a, a Whirlpool fridge freezer combination, as well as a freezer ice maker, as well as a water dispenser on her on here.
Okay, we're gonna move into the bedroom and I'm gonna to try to give you an idea of space in here. Um, just tons of room in here. Some really key features in the bedroom. Uh, the first thing is, is this is a sleep number bed and that's just really awesome to have. I'm a guy that actually really likes that option. Under each nightstand, there's 110 power. So if you sleep with a CPAP or something, you can run the power in. They've got a nice little slot right here so your cords aren't exposed. And you can set your cell phone or your CPAP machine right here. So that's something that's very important to a lot of people. Lots of uh, wardrobe storage options in here on both sides. You can, you, know, you got a hanging closet rod as well as storage down there. You also have a controller up there where you can see all of the functions again of the coach. And it's really hard to see, but when you look up underneath here, you also have a touch screen. So when you're laying in bed, you can turn your reading lights on as well as turn on other lights laying in bed. You can look straight up at it. So that's a nice feature. Okay, now we're gonna go into the master bathroom and do our best to show this. Um, I'm gonna walk in here and just kind of at first, just try to give you some room or understanding on how much room there is in here. I'm gonna do my best to explain the uh, master bath to you. What's really cool to talk about is the shower. So you have this beautiful um, solid surface shower in here. It comes with shampoo, conditioner, and soap. Dispensers already preloaded. There's a fold down seating bench in here. It also comes with the um, shower miser and it has what they call as the aqua view. So there's a lens in here. And what you do is in most RVs, you turn the hot water on and you let it run until it gets hot. So you're wasting that water if you're trying to live off the grid or if you're at a, um, just traveling on the road and you're not plugged in anywhere. So you're wasting a lot of water. With this one, you can turn the diverter valve and the hot water recirculates. And once it gets up to temperature, the light comes on in the shower, you can turn your hot water on and you have instant hot water. So it's an incredibly cool feature to have. Just as well as when you look in here, just look at all of the, the wonderful fit and finish. You have a nice pantry door in here, as well as a, a built-in safe, which is a really nice feature. Medicine cabinet, um, storage underneath the sinks, as well as this exit door. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave the master bathroom and walk uh, as I go forward to start talking about the front of the coach. I wanna pause and just point out the flooring. So this has the Avalon uh, interior package on it, but at IWS, we were able to get Newmar to upgrade the flooring. And this flooring is only available normally on the King Air, which is Newmar's um, highest level motorhome that they produce and we were able to get that flooring in here and we really like the tones of it, um, the sheen on it. It just seems to really work well and we're very thrilled to be able to offer that in this coach. Here we are up in the uh, uh, chassis, the driver's compartment and passenger's compartment and I wanna just kinda of walk through a few things. You've got lots of storage up here, up in the front. Just opening these up. Here's another controller where you can monitor all of the functions of the coach. And what I really like is that they put it up here at eye level so you're not having to, you know, really get down to see it. You got another nice shelf here. Okay, I'm gonna open up this door and when I look inside of this door, it really speaks volumes about who Numar is. And this is Numar owner support. And you have the picture and this is Darian Todd, and she's gonna be the person that your brand specialist that you call directly if you have issues on this coach. It's interesting when we have a coach built for you, um, we're, we're gonna ask for your photos and then we're able to give them to Newmar and then photos travel with the coach as it's being built. So everybody at Newmar knows who they're building this for. I think it just speaks volumes that they have this. Not only do you get the iPad with all of our emergency contact info, you have uh, Numars, as well as Noogle, which is a Numar and Google 
merging where you can go in and get all kinds of information. They also have Freightliner's phone number on here. So um, lots of information right here because, you know, I've been there when you break down on a hill or you're in the middle of traffic and you have a problem and you want to be able to call somebody and, you know, just to be able to open this compartment, reach in here with your cell phone, call somebody and get somebody on the other line. It, it, it can be very soothing to you and we want you to have that comfort. Another thing is I want to point out, see this beautiful skylight up here. And it's really neat if you want to uh, make it a little darker in here, you just push the button on the dash and out comes this powered shade. We're gonna talk a little bit about everything that goes on up here in the cab. And I know this video is going long, but I really wanna make sure that we've done our job of explaining everything about this coach. It's always been my belief if you're going to spend this much money on a motorhome, you need to know everything about it so you can become very informed. So starting here from the driver's seat, this seat is an uh, air seat, so there's air buttons down here so you can raise and lower it. It's got adjustable armrest on it, so you can fold the armrest down. There's knobs under here and you can turn and adjust these to control the angle and the pitch of the armrest. The steering wheel tilts as well as telescopes so you can have both of those functions right here you just depress this little foot pedal on it I want to talk a little bit about all of the controls that you see over here because it seems like a lot here's the shade up and down that I just showed you for the skylight cab lights your locking docking lights out back your marker lights uh, additional generator start you have your house boost battery so if your house batteries ever go dead you can push this button and you can transfer the power from the chassis batteries to the house or vice versa this is the uh, power divider that um, locks the uh, rear the two rear ends together we have our trailer brake, which you probably won't use unless you're using air brakes. You have your tractor parking brake, engine brake. You have one, two, and three stages of engine brake. And what that does is, I think the best way to explain it would be, imagine um, this engine puts out 505 horsepower at 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. So you have 505 horsepower to pull you up the hill. I'm not sure quite on the brake horsepower on this, but I believe on the high setting, let's say you're at about 350 braking horsepower. So when you're coming down the hill, if you're on the highest setting, let's say you have about 350 horsepower braking you. Medium, you're probably around 200, and then on the one, you're at 100. Where is that nice? If you're on a really steep hill, and you say it's a 50 mile an hour hill or 55, you might be on your highest setting to hold you back so that you stay at that steady speed. If it's a shallower hill and you have it on the high setting, it might be stopping you too fast and then you have to speed up where you could go to the lowest setting and it'll just ride you all the way to the bottom of the hill. So it's just a great feature. Sounds complicated. I can assure you in just a few minutes of driving, uh, maybe an hour or two with us, you're gonna have a full grasp of it. And we will do that. We'll train you here. We have a route where we take you. Um, and we're going to make sure you're very comfortable with the coach. Um, this button you can push and you can go outside and it's going to cycle through all of the lights outside. So you can make sure all your lights are working if you're by yourself. Um, this, is the, uh, this is the rear diff interlock. This is the front one. Air suspension up and down. Here's your USB outlets. Power windows up and down, mirror heat, so these mirrors have heaters in them, and then you have the door locks. Here's an automatic traction control, so if you're in uh, icy conditions, you can turn this on and the differential locks will kick in automatically. This is a marker interrupter, so if you've ever gone down the road and you a semi goes to pass you and you flash your headlights to say it's clear to go by and they blink their tail lights at you, 
that's this button right here. You can just push it once and it just flashes your marker lights to tell the driver behind you, thank you. Then we have our standard controls over here. You have all of your cruise control over here and your marker lights over here. You also have your stereo. When I turn the turn signal on, this is your left camera view, which would be the driver's side, right hand or the passenger side. Um, but we can also go into menu. We can go into camera and you have all of these additional camera views. This is looking out one side of the, of the coach, looking out the back of the coach. This is out the front. And you may not think you would use that much, but where I like it is if I pull up to an intersection and maybe there's a tree or something and I can't see around, I like to use this front looking camera because it gives me a view ahead of the coaches and to the side. And then we also have the um, 360 view. So here's the top of the motorhome and you're looking all of the way around the top of it. So it's kind of a neat thing to have. Um, also want to point out we have full navigation on this thing, but it also has Apple CarPlay. So that's something that I just think is a really nice um, feature to add. There's also, uh, you know, normal Bluetooth, Sirius XM options and all of them other things. The main thing though that I'd like to draw your attention to now is this uh, Wabco uh, collision mitigation system. And if you get a chance, and maybe we can attach the link to this video, I believe it's called If You Had Two Seconds. And Wabco went out and they, they found that a lot of the accidents that occur wouldn't occur if the driver just had two more seconds to react. So we're really excited to be able to offer these, that, that Numar's offering this collision mitigation. And it has two main functions. One of them is um, active braking. So if you're coming up on somebody too fast and this thing senses an immediate uh, accident, it's going to apply the brakes for you. And that's where they feel that it's gonna react faster than you can and it could save your life. I can tell you in my coach, I have had this deployed and I don't know if it saved my life, but it dang sure saved us from being in a pretty bad accident in Salt Lake traffic. Uh, really, it's made me a better driver because it, it's gonna warn you as you're getting close and it reminds me continually to do a better job of paying attention when driving the, the coach. The other thing it offers is uh, cruise control. Um, so what it does is as you set your cru cruise control, if you're getting too close to somebody, it's automatically going to start slowing you down. And it's, it, I think they call it, the correct word is adaptive cruise control. But something that you could really have a lot of confidence in uh, when you buy this coach. Well, we're kind of at the end of this and it felt really good to be back in uh, to give another video. I, I feel a big sense of purpose to try to educate people out there about you know everything there is to know about these super C's. Do we know everything? Nope. Did I miss a few things? Yep, yeah, probably. But what's really cool is when we see the comments and the amount of subscribers that we have, it really keeps us coming back. So uh, we're going to have some more coming. I'll be back here tomorrow doing another coach. Very excited for that. Really happy to have you guys join me and my family on this journey as we grow our RV dealership. Uh, maybe it's grown a little faster than we wanted it to, but nonetheless, we're very happy and we're, thank, uh, we're really thankful to have you uh, viewers and as well as you customers. I wanna encourage you if you're ever in Idaho to stop by and say hi and, and, and meet the team. So, and I hope to see you out on the road.